Hey, what's up, man? It's Echelon Knox right here, and you're watching Gospel Goody TV. Gospel Goodies. Gospel Goodies. Gospel Goodies. Gospel goodies. This is Gospel Goodies. I'm from um, Uptown Streets of Washington, D.C. Um, yeah, born and raised ever since I was young. You know what I'm saying? I, that's why that's why I grew up in. That's pretty much all I know. Really ain't get too much out of D.C. growing up, you know. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to all the things that's got, you know, going um, on. All the doors that God going to open up for me. But, yeah, D.C., Uptown, Washington, D.C., that's my area. That's why I was born and raised there. You know, been through so much, you, you kind of realize, um, like, what, what I went through so much put my mom through so much put myself through so much just trying to get it on my own then after a while you realize hold up everything that you've been doing hasn't been working you know so i think through god's time and through the process man i just started to realize man it got to be a different route it got to be a better route so i think through his time and that's what made me start to go to church and just try to figure out a better you know alternate route to uh, get the success that i wanted freedom um just just to be um find peace find tranquility um with life you know and just to, just just to have a better life than what i was used to you know so everything that um that i put my my family through and stuff it was just to get get a better life to have a better understanding to have a better, better peace and stuff like that so i think that's what i was really looking for in life and i finally have it you know it was always like a hobby, um, you know. I grew, we grew up, and we grew up with hip hop. We grew up listening to rap and stuff like that. So everybody on the block, you know, what I'm saying was was trying, either trying to rap or couldn't rap at all. Was was was, was, was trying. So I mean, before I transitioned to gospel, um, I, I used to always write little raps and stuff like that. Went to the studio a couple times, but I never really took it serious. Never wanted to pursue a career with it. But man, I, and honestly, I didn't even want to do gospel rap. But it was just God, you know. What I'm saying once he once he grabbed me, it was like man, it was no letting go. Echelon. I got that from the word upper echelon, uh, which clearly it just simply means a high rank. Not saying that I'm above anybody or anybody's uh, less than me, but it's just uh, always an understanding that I serve a most high God, you know what I'm saying? So I want to hold myself to those standards to uh, always, you know what I'm saying? So my name is just a constant reminder that I serve a most high God, and that's what I always want to live by and walk by. So I had to change the name. You know, at first, people were telling me, nah, man, you already got a name, Ben Sunny Knox. You know, uh, I, I got a lot of influence with that name, but I just wanted a complete change, you know what I'm saying? So with, with me changing over the gospel, that's what came about. The moment I knew is when the, the same guy who we talked about wanted me to go to church, when he heard my first song, he cried, you know, and and from there I was like, I was still kind of like iffy about it, but when I seen, uh, once he told me um, the reason for him crying and just like that the gift that I have can impact lives, it was like, man, hey, I, I don't really got too many other talents that I could do, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't the greatest preacher or nothing like that, so I was like, man, this is a gift that God gave me and I don't want to take advantage of it, so I mean, I mean, I'm going to take advantage of it, so. I'm going to help people as much as I can. And so once I seen that that impactful moment on his life, I was like, man, this is something that God gave me and I can use that to change people's lives. It was just a freestyle, actually. It was called um, Oh Lord, and it was just basically my testimony. Um, and if you go back to my first mixtape, uh, Book of Knox, um, the, the first Book of Knox, your, the first song um, featuring Pastor Sean McBride, um, you'll hear the testimony, and that was the same freestyle that, 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 that I used, well, that God used to uh, impact my best friend. So ever since then, it was just like, man, let's go. When you first think about gold, you start to think about just me, these materialistic things that we that that we all, you know, what I'm saying, um, put so much value to, you know. And but we we, we uh, me and my me and my group, me and my team, we we understand that it's it's something greater than this gold right here, and that's our relationship with Jesus Christ. So we consider that that relationship alone um, as gold. We consider that more valuable than anything in life. So we we chose to flip. What a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, choose is valuable. It's like this materialistic thing and, and let them understand there's nothing greater, nothing more valuable than your relationship with Jesus Christ, man. So that's that's that. that's how we came out the gold, you know what I'm saying? It's like everything we do is gold, you know, because we got Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, um, I got this what happen when you turn out the haters. I got this this what happen when you're on your way to greatness. I got this what happen when you ask God for the plan C. I went from plan A straight to plan C. I skipped plan B. And uh, cause that killed kids and I wanna see us make it. So um plan A was my plan. Um and, and obviously that plan didn't work. I skipped plan B because we all know it's a pill out there called plan B that that, that um basically a, a, a woman can take and it and it kills the baby that they're um you know after having sex it can kill the baby or whatever. So I said I skipped plan B. 
Um, and I went to Plan C. Plan C is Plan Christ. You know what I'm saying? And, and with that plan, it's like, man, you know, if you if you going after God's plan, then you you in, you in good hands. You know, and you can't fail. You know, even everything that you feel like um, the enemy took away from you, God was just using it because He got something better for you. So His plan is more better than any other plan out there. So that's why I skipped Plan A, which was my plan. I skipped Plan B, which was the plan to kill kids, and I chose Plan C, which is Christ's plan. Yeah, so that's that's how deep it goes. <laughs> I, 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 I honestly I came to that. my ghostwriter, which is God. Um, that's my, that's where my style come from. Um, you know I listen to a lot of people. Um, a lot of pioneers of the game like Lecrae, you know, and many of whole one one six. But also, man, me growing up in that in, in the hip hop culture. Um, before I was saved, I, I I listened to you know some people from Lil Wayne and Jay Z, like people that everybody listened to in the world. So I mean I don't know like where where exactly this style came from that God gave me, but I feel like it's unique. And it's something that it I, it just came from my passion to give back to my communities and, and stuff like that. So that's where I believe I got my style from, you know, just my passion and God. See, my favorite song is never everybody else's favorite song, but I, if I had to choose my favorite song, it would probably be Pearly Gates. Um, and I and I go with that because just the format of that song. I think that was one of the first songs I, I created for the for the um, for the EP. And when you think about, I was really in tune with with, with the um, with the word with revelations when I thought about that, and I was just really uh, painting this picture in my mind of, of what heaven would look like when I get there. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk about the gold rose and the pearly gates, and it's like wow, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I believe that's how I got the title gold. Um, just just from being in that word and being inside, like I was really inside the word, really inside revelations, and that's how that that song came to me. So that's that's why I feel like that song is like really dope, man. Beyond blessed. We was um we was actually in the studio when we got the beat and we was just like man we was like man this 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 track is gold man like how, what we gonna go about it and I write all my songs based off my life experiences so it's like man it's everyday life type song so it's like nothing you'll see nothing you'll you'll hear from me will come from out of the blue it's like stuff that I've been through I, I believe that's the best music so. I was just in the studio and I was just thinking about man everything like we just came off an awesome show we just came off we just we waking up everything I'm like man you know what I feel beyond blessed today like I today like before I was saved I thought I was blessed you know what I'm saying before like every day I just thought I was blessed but I, was, I was at this point I was like man today I don't just feel blessed I feel beyond blessed so and, and once that spirit came about I was like man we about to turn this to a song like right now nobody else was in the studio with me I was in there I was like man we about to turn this to a song right now and it just came about and it, it was dope the radio picked up on it everybody picked up on it we have an end goal um that me and my team dreams and reach talk about um behind the scenes um and, and, and it got it, it goes along with the music, but the music is just a platform to where we want to end that um, fire. It's just helping people, man. Our, our dream is more reached than what than what a lot of people think it is. But our dream is to, to to impact people, and you can see people every day. You know what I'm saying? You walk by somebody every day. So the end goal for us is to ultimately have have an impact on this world, man. That 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 was like, man, that God chose us. To, you know what I'm saying? To touch these people, and once we once we have that, once people, you know what I'm saying, really see. Our goal. We could basically say we had our end goal right now because so many people have been impacted already. But yeah, that's just the, our end goal is just that we we impact this world, we touch this world in an impactful way that has never been seen before.